Welcome back to the Creaster Cabin. I'm Mike. This is Jerry. You all know Jerry. How's it going, man? Man, it's, I'm so excited today because we're going to bring you a special episode of Creaster, and this episode almost wasn't going to happen. Oh, man. You know what? We're going to Arizona, and all these fires broke out in Arizona, and they shut the forest down where we were going. And so we were kind of worried we couldn't even go. The rains came, the forest opened back up, and we're going again. So uh, what are we going to do next? You know, we're going to go down and meet Laura and Ariel. I've, I've never met them, and we had a previous video, Mike. What was the video there, the previous Do you video? know, Laura and Ariel had a very popular video on the Creaster channel. You can watch yeah. it. It's Fighting an Invasive Species in Arizona. And uh, what that was about was they have, you know, when, when crawfish get into an environment, they can really tear it apart if they're not supposed to be there and kill all the other, you know, species that are native. And so they reached out to us. We build traps. We build, you know, we're fully supportive of crawfishing and the crawfishing industry. And we build traps, so they reached out. We're going down to help them clean a creek out. You can never get them all out, but we're gonna go down and we're gonna make boils and eat them. It's gonna be super exciting. And you know what else is exciting? We're bringing field researchers from Craystar all over the United States. This was an invitation and with it coming down to the last few minutes, we weren't sure if we we're gonna go, but you know what? It's on now. We're so excited to go down there to Arizona. Awesome, and you know what? What we're gonna do is we're gonna invite you along on this very special episode of Craystar. Come on with us to Arizona. Let's go. Traveling across the desert. Doesn't look like there'll be any crawfish out here, but they say they're out here. We're heading to camp. Really pretty. This is crazy. These the crawfish are all over the place. I just did a little scoop with my hands in front. Three baby crawfish right there. Man, it's gonna they're be just really hard to get the meat out of these. <laughs> I think they're too small. <laughs> but you know, it just shows how many crawfish are in here. You just reach down with one hand, did a scoop, and then he pulled up those little crawfish. This place is just absolutely infested with them. I'm Matthew and I'm part of the field researcher team. I'm pulling traps right now. You got anything in there, Matthew? Yeah, there's a few. Oh, yeah. Geez, that's a pretty good trap. Very nice. What's in that bad boy? Let's see. Oh yeah, you got quite a few in there. Dang, man. Look at that. Wow, nice job. There's a few in there. Dang, catch more crawfish up here. Sweet, how long was this now, about half an hour? Yeah. Half an hour. Good job, Matthew. Good job, man. There they are. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna. All right. Nice old. Right here. You guys ready? Crawfish yep. dinner, so Arizona style. Oh. <laughs> what did you grab? <laughs> I should watch. What did you grab when you? All right, Laura. How about you? Do you want right. to try? I'll give okay. It a try. You give it a try, and then you gotta tell us what you think of your first Arizona crawfish. That's really good. Is it pretty good? <laughs> really good. <laughs> All right. Here, you can keep the part. All right. All right. Show me again which which end did you I, pull I off? Like the tail, the tail we just pull off like that, and then you squeeze and you open it up like that, and it just 
it, I make it look really easy. Because I've done a couple hundred million of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, okay, here. Is this a tail? <laughs> Ariel, you want to try, try this one? Yeah, sure. Okay. It's all oh. clean and ready to go. Yeah. And you can tell us what you think. Yeah, Is this a really tail? Good. It's really good? Perfect. Okay, okay, here guys, I'll show you. Okay, so what you do is you take it like this, uh -huh. and there's like the second ring up. I just pull and twist, and then it, the meat comes out really clean. And then you push on the very end of the tail, and it just pops out. And then, see how clean that is? It's just perfectly right. clean white meat. Some people do it different, and it gets a little messy. Screwed on. Try that one. That one's got some butter on it too. <laughs> Halfway decent. All right. You're right. Not bad. Does it taste like crab or lobster? We live in Arizona. We don't get lobster very often. <laughs> you do I, now. I told them that we went to Maine. We visited Maine, but that it was tastes more 20. like crab. Like crab. 30 years ago, maybe? I, well, I haven't tried Lob one either. Lobster I gotta try is my like, first one. has a, I don't know, different flavor. I, I can't really describe. All right, my first, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you if it tastes the same. Too. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. I'll I'm never done. get enough coffee. I haven't. Oh man, you guys, um, woke up in Arizona this morning. Um, we traveled from Idaho through Utah to Arizona over the last couple days, and uh, we were coming up for Crayster Camp. And uh, we snuck uh, up into camp last night. It was uh, Friday night, this is Saturday morning. Today, a lot of people are coming. Yesterday, we, we just snuck into camp, and uh, Laura and Ariel, uh, the Crayster Field Researchers of the year last year, took us crawfishing for about two hours. And we caught so many crawfish, um, hundreds and hundreds of them in a short period of time. Had a wonderful boil last night, and uh, it was so good. They ate crawfish for the first time. They absolutely loved them. It's always a mystery. People don't quite know how to do it, but when you show them, man, they just love to eat them. You know, you can see the, the sun is kind of sneaking up out here in the woods. Um, can you believe this is Arizona? It is absolutely beautiful. Um, the trees and, and just the, the look of the area. The creek we were on was perfectly clear and cold, full of crawfish. You could just see them everywhere. But uh, today, uh, Crayster Camp starts. There's going to be a lot of education. Jerry, I heard him stirring over there. Uh, he wants to go out and hit the creek first thing in the morning, just do a little bit of crawfishing. But come with us today with Crayster Camp. It's going to be really exciting. We're here. It's bright and early on uh, Clear Creek. We've got Ariel here. We're gonna we're gonna pull a few traps. How's it going this morning? Uh, it's really nice. It's actually like really nice weather. Yesterday it was really cloudy. Yeah, yeah. This is just we woke up and it was beautiful. Cue the sun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, let's Great pull morning. some traps. And let's see what's in them. Okay. You want to, there's a trap Ariel's right there. Grab that. Jerry. Would you want this one? I'll go pull this one. How's that? These are the traps that uh, Jim, who inspired us uh, to continue his work, these are the traps that he lent us. We threw about five out here last last night, and uh, we're just checking to see what we've got this morning. Probably a lot of little fish get caught in those net traps, I'll too. Double check. I'll check for the fish. There's quite a few crawfish. Oh, there are some fish in there. Keep the crawfish. Yeah, there's quite a few little fish in here. Make sure they get out. Well, you gotta grab the crawfish for them. Man, they, they really run for the... They really run, look at them go. Man, they know right where it's at, too. Mostly we catch me small. We don't catch a lot of great big ones, but we did have a boil last night. We threw our traps out a couple, a couple hundred, 
And uh, ate and them all, big and small. We have a theory. We don't know if it's right or not, but we have a theory the further up the river we go where the fishing pressure isn't so bad, we're probably going to catch some bigger ones. We, we went up ways last night and caught some bigger ones, but we're going to find out. Absolutely. We're keeping all of the crayfish, even the small ones, because in Arizona, crayfish are a non-native invasive species. Arizona has no species of crayfish that would be native here. They were introduced uh, probably about in the 40s. Um, yeah. There's one right by Jerry's foot, escaping. <laughs> <laughs> they were introduced about in the 40s, and since then they have just taken over and uh, devastating the native fish population. So Arizona Game and Fish ask fishermen to take out as many as they can, um, not to put any back if they catch any when they're fishing. So we take them all, big and small. Oh, that's a good size one. When you dump them out, you gotta grab them fast. Those are the fastest running crawfish I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, Jerry, how oh, I double on them. All right, good job, you guys. All right, you guys, so uh, Ariel and Laura, they uh, made that great video that we put on the Craster channel, and we wanted to thank them so much, and we said we were gonna come out and visit them. We made all this Craster gear, including brand new traps that we're gonna leave with them, so they have some really quality gear. And then uh, we also did something else. Um, we have a check from you guys and us from Craster, and we want to give it to oh, you. Thank and you. it's it's to the Southwest Wildlife Fund that you guys have been helping so well, much. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I really appreciate this and the free food that they're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, uh, and it's been great eating crawfish with you guys, and uh, it's just been a pleasure. Who would know that Arizona is so beautiful? It's wonderful to travel and come to your state. But we just want to thank you both so thank much. Thank you. We're very happy to have you come and work with us this weekend. And thank you so much for the new traps. And if this is work, man, I want to go back to work. It's <laughs> <laughs> just been a, a great time. But uh, we're going to get back to fishing. Thank you. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh, All right. That's Check a lot of crawfish. Out. All right. Okay, Ariel, we'll do you want to show off a crawfish or two there, Ariel? You want to hold one up? Oh, yeah, we'll dump them in here and we'll, mm, we'll show some. That. There's some pretty big ones. Holy. Here, I'll tell you, you show some yeah, off and I'll, on. I'll, I'll, I'll take these he's out. See if, you can, see if you can see any big ones in there. I can't see them. That's a nice one. Yeah. I don't know if I want to pick it up though. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, maybe hold them up for you. Oh, yeah. Mm. Nice sized ones. Mm, that one. Wait, this, this this place is just full of crawfish. Man, we just, you know, last night we caught about, I don't know how many hundred, and they're just all over the place. Every single pool we throw into, we catch them. It's really good for the local fish species to get a lot of these out of there. There's just way too many. Oh, that was pretty good. We dumped them right in there. Yeah. There's one with a bigger claw somewhere in the bottom. Oh, is there? It's pretty good. It's high Oh, Jerry's in over here pulling up a trap off of this big old boulder. Let's see what you got, man. <laughs> that looks like a lot of crawfish. Check that out. Oh my gosh. That no way. Oh yeah, geez, now that's a loaded trap, isn't it? Wow. Very cool, man. Very cool. Put them in the bucket and we'll get down the river. In the 
Hey you guys, we're here at Kracer Camp and we've got a very special guest. Uh, this is Zach Graham. It's nice to see you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice we communicated you. online some and tell us kind of what you do. Yeah, so I've always been interested in crayfish my entire life, ever since I was a kid. I'm from Pennsylvania. I've always been catching them. Uh, and a few years ago, uh, during undergraduate research, I actually found out that, you know, I could pursue researching crayfish as a career and you know eventually got into graduate school and started YouTubing crayfish and trying to find out everything about crayfish that I could and uh, ran across the Craster YouTube channel and you know I contacted uh, them and it was pretty awesome uh, but what I actually do with my um, research so I'm in an animal behavior PhD program so what I'm interested during my dissertation research is finding out how and why crayfish fight and what I'm extremely interested in is their fighting behavior just in general because what they do normally is they go up to another crayfish and they pretty much wave their claws around and they try to intimidate all of the other crayfish because if you're a crayfish your entire life is dependent on how well you can fight because they're fighting for mates, they're fighting for food, they're fighting for shelters. This is extremely important, they're always fighting. So what I'm actually interested in is understanding how their claw size and their claw strength influences their ability to win a fight. Because like I said, what they do is they wave their claws around normally and they try to intimidate the other opponents. And fighting is actually extremely rare. It only happens when the crayfish have extremely close sized claws. So when the, when the sizes of the claws are very close is when actual fighting occurs. And the strongest crayfish wins when they fight. But like I said, most of them never fight. They just intimidate and the other crayfish. You were telling me that some of the ones with the biggest claws that can intimidate the most, they might not even be the strongest crawfish. Yeah, so that's what's so interesting. Yeah, that's what's really interesting is that there's these crayfish that are huge and they may be extremely strong. And some of them actually aren't very strong because it's, it's extremely costly to produce the muscle underneath, but the claw is extremely cheap to produce. So there's some crayfish with extremely large claws that are cheap to produce with very little muscle. But remember that muscle is the most important uh, you know, determinant of a winner of a fight. But these crayfish are just going around with really weak muscles and really big claws and they're kind of cheating their opponents. And this is kind of what I'm interested in. And, Further you know what's really cool, I think what's really cool is is fishing, crawfishing kind of gets under your skin and and people get into it and they just love it. And yeah. I think it's really neat how you're turning it into a career. Mm -hmm. I mean that's that'd be a dream for some people and yeah. it's it's just it's a pleasure to meet yeah. you uh, finally in person. Yeah. And uh, I look forward to meeting you again. We're talking about maybe plans someday he's gonna come out to Idaho and he actually has he actually has a tool that can can measure the crawfish when they when they clamp down on something, and and it's very mm -hmm. interesting the things mm -hmm. he's told me. And he may come out and do a little research out in our neck of the woods, but uh, that's great, yeah, Zach. That'd be awesome. Super neat. Well, got to go back to Crazer Camp. Thanks so much, man. It's good right. seeing you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Oh, the double. No, it's got the double. <laughs> uh, tomorrow. Okay. Laura, how many total numbers do you think from yesterday and today, roughly? I don't have any idea. Close we're to thinking a thousand today. That's what we were talking. She said there's 300 and a half a bucket. Uh huh. And uh, and we got at least three or four buckets here, didn't we? Or half buckets. So. And you caught well, you caught bigger ones. I think we just have to count them while we eat them. <laughs> or while we throw them in. The Yesterday's are already done though. <laughs> at Craster Camp, we caught bigger ones. What? what? That's awesome. Big crawfish at Creaster Camp. Imagine that. <laughs> oh, how are we going to do this? Alright, here, I'm going to jump up here. Oh, there goes the lid. Grab the lid. It's attached. So. Alright, that's okay. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> now that all right. is a meal. <laughs> Everybody dig in. What do you guys think? Did we catch enough? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now that is for Arizona oh, crawfish. Man. That is a lot. Wow. That's incredible. I have no, I have no I, I have no idea how many pounds we got, <laughs> but yeah. Dave, you live here in Arizona. Arizona. Love it. Love the love the crawfish. This have, is awesome. Have you had them before? Here? I, I have not had Arizona crawfish. Before. Are they good? They are very good. All They're right. Excellent. Man. Oh yeah, that's a nice sized one. Right on top. Thank you. That is absolutely silly. <laughs> These are great. Oh man, it's the last day of Crazer Camp. We woke up, sun's out, it's beautiful. Boy, you know what? Arizona's beautiful, Jerry. I just really enjoyed Crazer Camp. Yeah, it was really great here. We want to appreciate everybody and thank them for coming out and joining us here. Uh, the campgrounds were awesome. The food and the friendships built were great. Just had a good time. Yep, and we're, we're going to catch a few more crawfish, and then we're going to get back down the road. Arizona, thank you so much. This was wonderful. All right, going down here to the edge of the creek. Pulling up the trap. Mike's pulling it in here. Oh, dude! Nice. Let's check them out. Looks like you caught Look some crap. Oh! Traps loaded, man. Dude, check it out. Yeah, here I'll pull one nice. out. Nice, yeah. Oh, oh actually, look at this. Nice what? big blue clawed crawfish. That is awesome. You know, they don't get as big in Arizona, but man, they're beautiful and they got lots of tail meat in them. You know what they kind of remind me of, Jerry? What's that? Remind me a little bit of the crawfish from Louisiana, just a little bit. They're about nice. the same size. They've got the red swamp, and these are the really, but uh, but they're similar in size. Mm-hmm. Ah, delicious. It's nice. All right, so this is the trap Mike just pulled. Got a little double fist and crawfish got action. Some, got some. Uh, oh, that is Arizona nice. Arizona crawfish going on. Ah, oh, man, they're yeah, beautiful. Yeah, baby. It's worth a trip. Yeah. Jerry's sitting here catching crawfish under this little ledge. It's just beautiful. Crawfish on. Jerry and I are huddled up underneath a rock because <laughs> it's raining like crazy and he's still catching crawfish. It's hilarious. Man, listen What's to that weather. <laughs> hey, Jerry, yeah. what you don't know is there's a giant spider above your head. <laughs> there it is. Jesus. It's, it's just a daddy long leg. Oh, man. It's funny when you gotta relax in the, in the underneath a nice. rock cliff. What is going on, Jerry? We're out crawfishing. What's happening? Well, it's supposed to be a desert Arizona, I thought, and here we are in the middle of a monsoon. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, Heavy storm, rainstorm came in within just about 10 minutes. One minute we're having some fun going up the, the creek here and going down a trail. And then the next second, we've uh, got a storm going on, so. You know, Laura warned me. She said, this is the rainy season. And this is pretty common. These storms come on like this. Definitely is. So. Laura is a very smart lady. Uh, she is, isn't she? Yeah. All right. Yep. 